Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of my Splatoon 2 Online Let's Play. Today we're trying out the Julius Quelchers which I've wanted to do a video on for a while. So here we are doing it. Here we are in our first game on Sturgeon Shipyard. Now the main thing that I like about these weapons is as you can see they have pretty high range, they can reach all the way over to the bottom of that little area over there, which is good. Right, can I get... Yes, I can get all four. Not done that in a while, so that's good. Now, as you just saw, the special is the Tenta Missiles. Someone is firing them at me. Managed to dodge them by quite a big margin. Right, there's a human there. And I'm dead. From a slosher. Right, there's a little bit of area that needs covering here. Someone just died. Seem to be doing pretty fine so far. I tend to miss all again. I thought I was going to die for a second. Someone is... yep. There's a Luna Blaster. Almost got them. I was wondering why that sniper had so much range, but I just looked. It's an E-Leader. So it's not a surprise. I have more range than them. So, should be able to get them, and I did. Right. The slosher is one of the people killing me the most at the moment, and they're up there. I should be able to get them. That is a lot of tension attacks. And I swam straight into more. There's two sloshers actually, a normal and a hero. I don't know which one it is that keeps killing me the most, but either way I've been dying from them a lot. Nearly fell down. There's someone over there. Thought I might be able to land up there with the help of the dodge rolls, but no. It's really No it isn't, but there's a slosher and I'm dead. Again. Not doing amazing. Right, someone is about to jump there. And they killed me. Guess at least I got them now. Got Maria Towers this time, which I quite like, so I'd say that's a good thing. Right, I'm gonna go up here and cover this because no one else did. And even though it is quite often a good idea to go straight to the middle. I'm still getting coverage and that's the main point of tear for, so it doesn't matter too much. Plus, I should be able to get four. No, I can't. Um, I can get two. I would have been able to get three, but someone on the team got killed. So, I can no longer get them as well. That's not a bad thing, because them dying is helpful towards us getting more tear from them. That was a blue person behind me. I need to hopefully go for them. Um, I'm going to guess they're the Dapple. Please. Didn't even get a chance to see. But yeah, they were the Dapples because the Splat only died like a second ago. I have a feeling the Dapple's going to try to do a similar thing again. I thought that was them over there for a second, but it's the, the Elita. I'm going to come down. No one seems to be coming on the offensive on their team, so I might as well. Should have moved there. I was about to move, but I didn't bother, and then I realised that I was being 
aimed at by an elite, and I realised too late because I got killed. Should have dodged that, it wasn't even that difficult of a shot to dodge. I think the elite might be gone now, or at least not in that specific area. And it still looks like no one's coming very aggressively on their side. I'm going to go back because I'm probably going to get noticed. Oop, that's someone. I couldn't tell what weapon it was. Well, I know it was one of the two Julies, but I don't know which one. I think there's someone behind me. No, there isn't. Well, there probably is now. Yes. Should have more wins than them. Yep. Managed to do pretty well this game, I'd say. Not done amazing. That was annoying. Not done amazing on coverage, because I'd usually get to say how I deserve, but... We've won the game on... Oh. Don't know when middle got attacked that much, but I'd say we've probably won the game. Um, I guess we'll find out. And, yep, we won. On again, map switched up, we're on a stairs and shipyard this time. This is a person testing out the Luna by the looks of it. Or they might have decided to use it as the new main, but I'm pretty sure they're just testing it out since it was only added like, I don't know, maybe 10 hours ago now. Where I live, it's added at 2am, so not exactly the time that most people are awake at, I don't think. I think in America, though, it's added at something like 6pm, so it's a much more reasonable time. So who knows if people are still testing it out or not. That elite seems to get better every game, which is annoying. Maybe they're trying it out. Who knows. Not me. Now hopefully we can do quite well this time, because last time we were on Shed and Shipyard, was the first game we lost, which wasn't really. You know, if that either to aim at me, he probably will be able to kill me. I think I have more wins than most of the weapons on their team, though, other than the easy trophies. But that hasn't enough to end the whole game, so. Well, unless you count something like the Stingray special, because that can just go across a whole map, which no main weapon can do. Managed to get them, don't know why they didn't use their splashdown, because it would have been hard to escape. Not complaining though, because it means I get free kill, and they stop getting more and more coverage, temporarily. Don't know if anyone knows I'm here. I'm waiting for it to go up. There we go. I need to get up. Right. Someone on their team has clearly been up here at some point. I think we've got pretty good mid control now, which is nice. I want to try. Right, that didn't work out. Managed to kill them, but I wanted to try to trap them in like one single place. There's a yes, they have. I thought the need to have moved back to the middle. Right, we've once again not done amazing on coverage, but we've got a decent amount. And I think we might have won that one. Nope, definitely not. Here we are on Murray Towers. Why is my controller? Join. There we go. It somehow come unconnected from the drug on grip thing, which was strange. 
seem to be doing quite good off the start because we've already got kill and we have someone really far on to their side looks like they're going very aggressive playstyle and that's probably going to help them quite a bit by sending and we actually have the elita that's killed me like I don't know how many times but a lot and they're finally on our team they're waiting for me so I'm not going to be stupid and I got killed anyway would have died anyway because there was a splash down by someone but, ooh, no one's got this little corner here or down here I'm going to go over there and I don't even have to paint the wall because it's already been done I don't know who him probably how did what how did they kill me they were facing the other way strange Let's go over this wall. Got them pretty easily. There is someone behind me. And it's a YouTuber. The splash. Yep, here they are. I was going to say the splash shots bound to come. Almost managed to get them. I gave up on the Gucci because they kept just jumping down the wall and back up, and there's no point endlessly chasing them. Because as it already has, I've barely got any coverage thanks to that. Because I waited probably a good 30 seconds doing next to nothing. Right, you're not going up there. I think he was going to make the mistake that loads of people make as well. I think just because they're inside one of them, I don't know what you call them, but inside one of them, that they're immortal, which they're not. They're really, really easy to kill. Here we are on Moray Towers. I'm going to see how many times I can do this. Looks like it's only going to be one. Only going to be one. Because... Someone's coming up this way. Or not, never mind. Right, I think that's guys. Now I'll do it because they've stopped. And then once I'm here, I'm going to use Tentum Missiles. And there's two over there. Is someone going to come up that thing? Nope. Someone's over there, though. I never realised how much range that actually has. It's more than I thought it did. It's like a mile. Right there. Someone's thrown an ink storm over here. So I'm going to go cover that up. And looks like we're winning at the moment, which is a surprise because I wouldn't sound doing particularly good. And where is their sniper? Up there. I think they know that I'm on this wall. That guy seems to know as well. Probably gonna be up. Yep, got him. When you're close up to them, they are pretty much harmless. Because they really have to be lucky to be able to kill you in that kind of situation. Um, I have a wall who is my friend. And I also now know where that person is. But I think I'm going to get shot by the leader. 
if not killed by them, apparently. Gonna get this little area here. Well, probably won't change the result of the game, but it's Marco Bridge, which is the end of the game. Is that? Yes, it is. Pretty sure they will have just seen that as well. And they've killed me. This slosh is probably quite a high level player because I die on nearly every encounter I have with them. All I know is we've probably lost. Right, I'm just going to go find something pink. Which proves difficult apparently. And I'm dead. Never mind. Here we are in the final game of the episode, which is going to be on Murray Towers once again. Hopefully we can win. And the snipers on their team and the slosher, which is annoying because they're both good at killing me. And I'm bad at killing them. There we go, all four. Probably won't kill anyone, but still useful. Yep, don't think it killed anyone. Right, that slosh is gonna come around that area, so... I think they're dead. Now. Couldn't move there because of the... thing. I don't know what they're called. Ink rail, I guess. I know they're not ink rails. I'm pretty sure they're not ink rails because ink rails are in their single player and you can stand on them. But whatever they're called, um, because it was uncovered, I couldn't get past. In time to get out of the way of the bomb. I think that Luna looks lost. Oh, didn't do a good job of staying on that wall. Because I could have stayed on it, waited for the forge and the Luna to go. And I would have lived. I'm going to get more with that wall. Probably just made it obvious where I am. No, nope, doesn't seem to have done. And I wasn't expecting a Luna. Oh, a bomb? There was a bomb. No wonder I died. Not doing very well in this episode, even though I do like this weapon. But sometimes that happens, you just do terrible. For whatever reason. Right, the slosh is over there. I wonder why there's been so many suction bombs all the time. Three of the weapons technically have them. Don't know what the Elite has, but the Luna has it as a special. And then the Slosher and the Forge Burst have them as subs. So that's why there's been like a thousand suction bombs everywhere for pretty much the majority of the game. I need to get inking some purple stuff. That EV is going to come soon. Never mind, the game ended before it got chance to. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.